Hey, Geese Co. <laughs> The gingerbread at the Sioux Rester Peg at Peggy's home, having the gingerbread with my lovely wife. Crystal Crescent Beach. ships in this thick fog, listening for the ghost fog run. We found a ghost ship. Leaving the sheltered deep cove and entering the home bay. The original deep cove. on top of Castle Rock. And here we are at the Shore Club for a lobster dinner. Princess Diane and Prince Charles dined here in 1983. <laughs> Today on Nathan's Beer Review, we have the Crustacean Elation Ale from Saltbox. Mm, tastes like the lobster sea. Starting out the day today in Fisherman's Cove. See these nice crate little fishing shacks, I guess. We can check out. As you can tell, if you're looking for a fishing village that's uh, less populated than Peggy's Cove, this is the spot. Unicorn gifts there. We're here for Pirate Fest, apparently. End result, not a lot to check out here at Fisherman's Cove unless you like to shop for little knickknacks. At McCormick's Provincial Park. It's supposed to be a really nice beach in the area. Kind of like a nice coastal wetland area. Very refreshing. Just starting out at Shuby Park in Dartmouth. Shuby Park is named after the Shuby Nakadee canal that used to pass through the park, which has since been abandoned. Very picturesque woods here. The canal connected Lake Micmac with Lake Charles. 
This land was once King George III's personal woodlot that provided masks for the Royal Navy and has since become this 40 acre urban park. Here's one of the locks. So the locks are not usable anymore. They stupidly filled them in. Lock two. 